the pizza oven, it turns. Actually, I need to get the salt off of here from french fries. There we go. Because today, we are going to be flying with the Red Baron. This is what it looks like on the outside. And that's the nutritional information. And this is what it looks like out of the thing and on the oven. Now this one is thin enough that I don't need to dick around with it with the variac to try and get it cooked properly. I just gotta set it at the usual time of about 13 minutes. And this will do its thing and we will have ourselves a cooked pizza. All right, the Red Baron pizza has come along quite nicely. Although I don't know how this is going to come out because on this previously I was cooking fish and chips. I smell a bit of the fish cooking. So this is what the completed product looks like when you take it out of the oven. And we'll let this cool off and then we'll take a sample. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Looks like a pizza, smells like a pizza. Tastes kind of like the high V pizza from last time. Oh, the sausage is spicy. Crust is crunky. So yeah, all, <clears throat> all in all, this ain't much different than the uh, the high meat taken and bake pizza. Kind of the same general texture and taste and flavor. But this one's a little bit cheaper than the high vee pizza. The high vee pizza was like $9.99, I think. This was on sale for like 3 bucks, and usually these are like 6 So these are quite expensive pizzas, but they're... Uh, I'd say if you get one every, I'd say if you're in the mood for frozen pizza every now and then, can't go wrong with flying with the Red Baron. I'm gonna give this one a seven. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.